Hello. <laughs> Welcome um, to our channel. Today we're filming, I don't know what, and I don't know what field, and with no zoom. So please be ready. Also, coffee. Michaela makes coffee better than Starbucks. So if you want to have a nice coffee, come to our house. It's only going to be $5 instead of six fifty. <laughs> And you have a to-go cup with the straw. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining for another vlog. Today we're going to be doing a comparison like we did with the MVP disc, but with Lone Star. So today we have the Warbird, the Lariat, the BB-6, and the Penny Putter. We're going to compare that against the Finish Line Pace, the Finish Line Supra, the Finish Line Era, then the Halo Boss. So today it's going to be the same type of video as last time where we're going to... I've already thrown all these so I know obviously what they do. Um, I'm going to compare them, what I like, what I don't like, what I might prefer, what I don't prefer um, in the video. And then you guys are going to have an idea of what these discs do and how they fly compared to the discs in my bag. Let's get us started. Penny Putter, Finish Line Pace. Same kind of thing as the Envy. This is a little thinner of a disc. Um, when I throw a putter, I more so like a little thicker of a disc. Um, but throwing it does fly very good. Straight to a little overstable, nice little finish. So definitely a disc I like the flight of. Not so much, doesn't feel the best in my hand for what I prefer. Um, but we'll throw them both and see how they do. We're gonna go penny putter first. So I like the stability of the pace a little bit better. Gets up there, it kind of moved right a little bit, but didn't like turn. Penny putter's a really good putter, just not really what I'll be looking for for that slot in my bag as a premium throwing putter. So if I wanted putter to go right, typically I'll have a beat up uh, Casey Pro or softer type of plastic as a right going putter. Um, there the pace went dead straight as it should. The penny did turn over a little bit, so if you're looking for a brand new, out of the box, kind of straight to understable putter, definitely a good option. All right, so here we have BB6 Finish Line Disc Supra. Um, this disc, again, is a little thin for my liking, especially comparative. Um, it just a little, feels a little thinner, feels a little more blunt. Again, it does fly really good. I like the flight, it kind of gets out there, flips up flat. Maybe it would go right if you threw it hard enough, uh, but definitely a good flight. We're going to compare it against a brand new launch edition Supra. So again, same kind of thing there with the BB-6 versus the Supra. On the BB-6, I feel like I threw them pretty similar. Uh, once it got over and got flat, it just never really wanted to come back at all to where the Supra, once it got flat and got over a little bit, it kind of started to have some fade at the end. Definitely what I'm looking for when I'm testing a disc, something that isn't too understable from the start. Uh, maybe the BB-6 for Lone Star is not the best, uh, best comparative to or Supra, but definitely um, something that I think is good for beginner players or players who have less arm speed looking for a straight disc out of the box, but definitely something that if I was testing it to add to my bag would be a little too understable for me. So here we have Era versus Lariat. Um, feel pretty similar in the hand. Uh, definitely a similar profile shape, diff de similar feel. I would say the Lariat's a little softer than the Era is, especially in the rim. But definitely still, I mean, like I said, flip up, go straight. Let's, let's throw it.
So I'd say Lariat and Finner Sundance era, very similar discs. As you can see, I kind of got the era too high and too turned over. Um, but again, as I mentioned, uh, the fact that it didn't kind of burn over or land on edge is good because that could still be in bounds for a par four or something or a long upshot, but not on line, not what I was hoping for. Lariat definitely flew great. Um, that disc definitely impressed me. Definitely a good disc for any skill level, any arm speed. Um, might be a little more overstable for some and more understable for others, but definitely a good disc, definitely comparable the Finner Sign Disc Era and the Lone Star Lariat. So Halo Boss, Warbird from Lone Star, again, very, very comparable. All these discs have been pretty similar. Um, I would say that the Boss went a little further, but it is one speed faster technically, so to be expected. But the Warbird, for being how soft it is, a little gummy for me, but still flew great. I mean, that would be a reliable, overstable driver for anybody. Um, really enjoyed Lone Star discs. I want to give a huge thank you to infinite disc for sending me the disc sponsoring me you know sponsoring a bunch of events across the country make sure to support them at infinitedisc.com they're a big supporter of mine big reason this youtube channel is going so thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one